Now, sadly, our access of that provision is imperfect. But friends, focus on the provision. The provision is perfect. Now, friends, I'm not talking about sinless perfectionism, but let's not mess this up, though. Our problem is not being too sinlessly perfect. The fact is the provision is sinlessly perfect. His name is Jesus. And friends, he lives in you. He lives in you. He lives in your body. The sinless, holy one of God lives in you. Let it sink in. It'll change your life. That's the secret. Christ in you, the hope of glory. He lives in you. That's a perfect provision. Our responsibility is quite simple. Depend on him. Trust him to obey. Not just obey, that's flesh dependence. Not just trust, that's easy believism. Believing that God can without depending on God too. It's trust to obey. That's holiness by faith in Jesus. You see, holiness without the Holy Spirit is dead. The form without the power. But the Holy Spirit without holiness is deception. But holiness energized by the Holy Spirit is dynamic. You see, separation, holiness needs revival for life. Revival needs separation for biblical boundaries. Either one without the other disintegrates. And it's happening all around us. Holiness by faith exposes two types of unholiness. It exposes unrighteousness, which is conformity to the world's selfish desires in heart and life. That's the works of the flesh. We call it worldliness. But it also exposes self-righteousness. That's conformity to the world's noblest desires in heart and life. That's the strength of the flesh. It's called counterfeit religion. And in times of genuine revival, Sadly, some, instead of bowing the knee in brokenness and participating in that that revival life of God, resist. In times of real revival, the worldly react to holiness and the self-righteous react to the Holy Spirit. And the battle at times is fierce. Fierce. But having said all of that, I must say this before we conclude this message. My father used to say, holiness is not an end in itself. It means to an end. We must get to separation unto God for the gospel. As Oswald Chambers puts it, workers break down because they de- their desire is for their own whiteness. And not for God. Our desire is for him. When you come into union with Christ's life, you come into union with holiness, and you come into union with true service that has that impact in the gospel cause that is supernatural. Holiness by faith. As Francis Havergal said it so well, holiness by faith in Jesus, not by effort of thine own, Sin's dominion crushed and broken by the power of grace alone. God's own holiness within thee. His own beauty on thy brow. This shall be thy pilgrim brightness. This shall be thy portion now.